Yes, what's going on, people? Back once again with a renegade master. <laughs> Sick intro. <laughs> Proper 90s. What's that? That's 90s, 80s rap. I don't rap. Even know. That's time ago, man. Time ago. <laughs> yeah. um, what's happening, people? Uh, you're watching you're, or you're listening to uh, No Money, No Problems. Um, I'm here with... So you're... Do you know what it is, Hamza, yeah? Yeah, man. Normally on the pod, I always say, how do you like to be introduced? Mm. Yeah. Someone got onto me this week. They was like, who meant these? You do this intro every week, bruv. <laughs> but it's like the theme of the pod, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, like, it's like a theme, yeah, it's like yeah. an in, but... So with you, yeah, and I was actually thinking of, I'm like, yeah. you're... Because I met you doing stand-up. Yeah. But I seen yeah. you first on YouTube. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But then yesterday, I went to your, like, what do you want to call it? Like, your, your short yeah, films, yeah? yeah, yeah that yeah. you're screening night. Yeah, yeah. You was acting. Yep. Yeah. Um... You've done music. Yeah. 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 So what do you like to be introduced as? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. So obviously or- originally, I mean, the thing is I, I always wanted to be a comedian. Yeah. Um, but um, I think early on I wanted to, I, I knew that if I wanted to be on TV, I, I would have to, it's one thing being funny, mm. but it's the other thing knowing how to act. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, I studied acting, I went to performing arts, drama school. Um, so I, I learned that as well. And, and then I wanted to make my own videos because I kept, I always say this, but I always kept getting stereotyped in auditions. Like I would always find myself like playing the part of terrorist number two. Do you know what I mean? That one yeah. line, I love that word. And I say, I'm done. I'm finished. No Oscar, no callback, no sequel. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, and you know, I mean, if I got the part of terrorist number one, that's okay. Cause that's where the real money is at. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. At, at the same time, I don't want to be doing that all my life. So I thought, let me. You don't do... want to be number two, no. Yeah, no, no number two is bit, just one line, bro. You know, you yeah. don't even need to learn it. You know, <laughs> yeah. you just say it out loud once and it's and there. And action. I love it, bro. <laughs> I was like, that... again, guys, like, no, no, it's okay. We got it. That was great. A little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive. A little bit more calm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's a human. As well. yeah. yeah. So, um, so then I started YouTube, and then I. I realized that I would have to learn how to film uh, because I didn't know anyone who could use a camera. Yeah. Uh, even some of my friends here, actually, Yogi's with me now. We got the man there. Yeah, we got the man Yogi and Krish, eight-year-old friend. We got Krish. Um, and um, yeah, like, I-, I would just say to my friends, oh, could you hold the camera? Just press this and just keep it still. Um, and then I-, I learned myself how to direct, how to edit, um, how to write. Um and yeah, it just, I just kind of evolved. And I always used to do music because I was in South London. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. You, you were always a part-time MC. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And I had to try harder because I was Asian, not yeah. black. So I had to, you know, yeah, put in a <laughs> few more extra hours with the lyrics. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so, so yeah, man. So I don't know. I guess the, maybe the best way to say it is entertainer. Um, but I don't know, man. That's Because I, yeah. I, I saw, I think, even the one with Hacks I was watching as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, just yeah. really hard to pin down. But I think the point is, is... You know, I started from comedy and I yeah. love comedy and that's my forte. Mm-hmm. But I think that what you obviously know as well, like when you, when I started doing it, I realized that I love being famous, but there's no point being famous and broke. Mm. So I wanted to reach out to other avenues such as, you know, I, I wanted to do serious stuff. So mm. that's why my new film, yeah, short yeah, film, yeah. Hey, is very serious. It's dramatic. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I, um, you know, whether it's a podcast or whether it's, you know, a children's book or whatnot. I, mm. you know, while we are... You author. Know, yeah, I forgot to say that as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Author, yeah, author yeah, yeah. Well, my friend. You yeah. sent me the book as well. Yeah, Big yeah. ups for that. Yeah, you know I mean? Big ups for that. That's all right, man. And um, you see, because I've always, what I've always rated about you is that you, you've kind of done it like you're... In a, I wouldn't say like a DIY format, but it was like mm. you're you're kind of like you you I say kind of you are like one of the the pioneers of that kind of DIY generation of yeah. getting a camera and recording something, whether it's like short skits and creating your own world yeah. within it, but then your own like audience as well. Yeah, Do you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I think it's weird because like now that's what. It's like now that's what people are really trying yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to do it myself now. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't need TV and X, Y, yeah. Z. Do you know what I mean? And you've, you've done it and been consistent in it yeah. and you've grown in it and you've expanded into books and stuff. And I think that's what, one thing I've always kind of rated is like your, your work ethic in terms of, because I could imagine with yourself, it's supposed to be very easy to be like comfortable, yeah. being, oh, I'm, you know, I'm that's smashed the, the YouTube yeah. ambassador and stuff. You know, make you know a what I mean? few quid here and there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but how does it feel like being like a an ambassador of YouTube? Like, well, you, what does that mean though? Like, you know what? It's so funny you say that. Yeah. Because you said it last night as well. Yeah, yeah. So and I was like, what is it? Like a club, like. You know what? And every, like, you know, because I've been doing school tours. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I even say it in my school tours. Like, as soon as I was announced a YouTube ambassador, all my yeah. friends were like, oh, cause what? What does YouTube ambassador mean? Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I don't even know, but it sounds really cool, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, you know, as long as these white people pay me, I don't care what they call it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, no, they just, they just, um, obviously I, I, I make content and, um, you know, even when I started off with Diary of a Bad Man, which was the first thing that I was really known for. Mm. And um, that really kickstarted my career. Yeah. And with, with those videos, it was funny. Mm. Um, and it had a storyline about, you know, me playing this character called Badman. Mm. And he would always get himself into trouble, uh, but then find a way of getting out and learning from it. Mm. And there was always a lesson at the end. And what happened with YouTube is they created this uh, this thing called the Creators for Change program. Mm. And what they wanted to do was they wanted to pick uh, a handful of ambassadors uh, around the world, YouTubers, um, who will represent their company. And also they will help. Um, so as an example, YouTube will help uh, fund... Uh, a project that I may want to do that has a positive influence or a positive message, whether yeah, I want to yeah, do about yeah. knife crime or, or bullying or mental health. And, and then also like taking the role of as ambassador, um, you know, they would fly me all around the world and I'd be doing shows to like, mm. you know, uh, to Google events, YouTube events, and, and kind of like tell them a bit about my story and just kind of like, you're yeah, representing the company and, 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 and telling my story about how YouTube mm. changed my life. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, um, it's, it's sick, man. It's, 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 it's one of the best things that have ever happened to me, man. Yeah, and it's yeah, just, yeah. Like, I'm at the position where I was like, you know, like, I know the CEO, Susan, mm. of, of YouTube. I met her many times. She knows yeah. me. We have conversations. It's, it's, it's you know, and, and it, but it took years and years of hard work to kind of, yeah, no, of get course, to where of I am. Yeah, It now, hasn't so. happened like overnight. And yeah, stuff. man. So, so yeah, but yeah, it's just, just a mad experience, really, man. Yeah, yeah. And you, I think in, with you as well, in terms of like, that's why I say comedian, because I think the first time I, I I met you was, do you remember when we done um, yard party? Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. That's the first yeah, that's time. Yeah, that's the first yeah. time I met you and Danny. Yeah. And um, I remember because I I always thought I was just like, oh, how is Hamza gonna do? Because he does yeah. he does YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah. comedy is different. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes comedy like. Like comedians can be clicky. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like it's like, well, we're 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 comedians. You're a YouTuber, like yeah, yeah, hundred oh, like, percent. Even with acting as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and I've and I've felt that because from when I've done like the small videos on Instagram and then and don't get like you know I was doing like the stand up thing. Yeah. But like when I was going to like mainstream comedy nights. Yeah, yeah. But then it's like, oh yeah, oh you you've done. Oh, I've seen some of your couple of cans videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some of the the mainstream guys were a bit like. Oh, he's only he's only here because of yeah, yeah. Instagram. It's exactly. like, nah, like, I've I've got my stripes. Do you know what I mean? Exactly, Maybe I might yeah. not have done them on the same shows as yeah. you guys, but like I've been doing yeah, stand up. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So, um, how 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 have you find how have you found doing like stand up? You know what? The funniest thing was, and you know what? That was, I think that was one of the. So when I started YouTube, mm. um, obviously I started getting a, 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 a big fan base, and yeah. I was thinking, okay, how do I? how do I go out and, and, and do shows for my fans and get to meet them and them get to see me? Yeah. So I thought, okay, the, the, the best thing really is stand up. Yeah. And the thing is, it's like, it's, it's really weird. We always have these conversations because like, especially my team or my manager, he's desperate yeah. for me to, to, to go into comedy. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, we, we so it's so comedy. funny. We were speak, we, me and Danny were speaking about that yesterday. Was he? Was he? Was he, was he <laughs> yeah. He was dropping. No, because he was like, he's like, oh, it's so hard, yeah. man. Because well, you're like, you doing stand up, and like, I know what that means, man. Yeah. And yeah, so we just, so yeah, we were talking he, about it all the time. He goes, yeah. look at Mo, look at Mo. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, fuck Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All the time, look at Mo. Like, I get it. Mo's killing it. Oh, chill. He's like, imagine how much money he's making. <laughs> And then I come here and I see your coffee machine and I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe Danny has a point actually. <laughs> you know, as soon as we came here, you were like, do you want some coffee guys? I've got this machine. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> and you're like, you know, it takes, a, I thought you had to pull it up, but actually yeah, you just nah. press the button. You know? He goes, I'm, I'm making that kind of money now. You know what it is here? Yeah, I go like, as soon as I got this office, the way I started being like, just come down to the office, man. Yeah, it's <laughs> Yeah, proper flexing. Oh, but, no, 
But anyway, like, <sighs> yeah, so yeah, he, he always used you as a, and so he should, man. Like, as I said, like, he, even though obviously you're, you're my oh, boy. Ups, and no, I'm, I, you know, to be honest, everyone says this, man, but you don't understand. Like, you know, even my friends can vouch, man. It's just like, you know, you are, especially stand up wise, you are incredible. No, thanks, you know what man. I mean? So, Means where you lot, are bro. right Thank now, you, it's not really a surprise. Because mm. even at that yard party, the, the, the first show that I actually saw you, um, there and then, like, I s- you just saw the raw talent, you know. Oh, thanks, you're being man. consistent, and you deserve mm. to be where you are, man. So I'm really happy. So yeah, with me with stand up, I was just thinking, okay, that's the only logical uh, option for me to do something where my fans can come out and see me. Mm. And I remember like my first ever stand up show, um, and I thought I'd be sick at it as well because I was like, I chat bare shit anyway. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, yeah. So it's how how hard can it be? Mm. And um and I'm a really confident guy as well. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't really get nervous. Well, that's what I thought before yeah, I got yeah, on stand up. Yeah. And then what I did was my first show was a thousand people. My Whoa. first, I, I told Ramesh <laughs> this. You know Ramesh, that's yeah. Mad still. I, I know, I know. Yeah, Ramesh yeah, yeah. was just looking at me like you dickhead. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like yeah, your yeah. first show was like he a just didn't understand because yeah, obviously yeah, he yeah. went through the traditional performing in in pubs for 10 15 people and grew yeah, yeah 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 but yeah, i was yeah. kind of different because obviously because i had that fan base already mm. but i was a, i just started doing stand up so mm. i was kind of thrown in the deep end and i remember i had this uh, piece of paper and i have like the bullet points of the jokes yeah, yeah, that yeah, i'm going to yeah, say yeah. Yeah. and i, I thought that still. yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Do that you know what I mean? <laughs> one of my friends is a little I, small note notepad yeah yeah bro i swear to you i think the first ever one was a bus receipt yeah, yeah i remember yeah. and i just turn it around and i just put bullet points <laughs> yeah um and it's mad because they're comedians they do it different like one other comedian i don't want to bait him out but um i was doing a show with him and bro he wrote like he brought seven pages of a4 paper yeah, and yeah. he wrote like word for word yeah, like and then he memorized it. I tried like, completely. that. I, it, I, that didn't work for me. Yeah. You, I, I only tried it once because I was mad nervous and yeah. I've done this show, and I was just it was it was a competition show, so okay, I was like, yeah. oh, I don't know what set I'm going to do, and Did I need win? to memorize it. Um, Did, I, don't know if, I know I know I got through to the next round. Yeah. I don't know if I won though. I think yeah. no, no, you would you would have known if you won. No, nah. you would have straight away said, yeah, I won that, but because you didn't. Do you know what it was though? You just said, oh, I can't really remember me, now. No, because what it is, only three people get through. Okay, so okay. I wasn't bothered about winning. It was yeah, just like yeah. I need to get through, and it was yeah. in this small pub upstairs at a comedy competition called the Laughing Horse. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I really, I wrote it all down on my phone, like word for word, like going through it. Yeah, I was mad nervous. I wasn't speaking to no one. And when you could imagine when I'm doing these competitions, like I don't like, I didn't look like your your average like mainstream comic yeah do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah, like yeah. i was just there like in a hoodie and like yeah, yeah, some yeah. jeans and stuff yeah so already it's just like who the hell's this guy <laughs> <laughs> who the hell's this guy turning up look at him he's got a hoodie on <laughs> you know you've got to wear a tight skinny t-shirt and some jeans like so i never really fit into the mold when i was doing like the mainstream competitions but i remember trying i literally wrote word for word like like yeah. you done and I lit like I remember going on stage and just done like the complete opposite and just kind of improving yeah. it and yeah, it just, yeah. yeah it just worked out so much better yeah but I, that's how I I tend to write if it's more something new I haven't done yet yeah I just have a bullet point of it yeah but then I leave a little bit for improv yeah and then that's yeah, what I would yeah, do yeah. so what how I would start off would I would literally get my phone and I would record myself and I would just freestyle for an hour mm. talking about certain things I want to talk about mm-hmm. then I'll listen back to it and then I'll write bullet points. Mm. of certain topics that I've, I said a few jokes that were funny yeah. and I might even write a few jokes if they're like a few one-liners yeah, yeah, and yeah. then when I actually you know uh, have my set I would just have bullet points of the topics that I'm going to cover okay so going back to the the first show I remember I thought oh if I if I fuck up mm-hmm. yeah I'm like can I swear do your thing bro uh, fuck 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 right, cool. <laughs> uh, just better, the system. Uh, and then um, yeah I thought if I forget I'll just take it out make a little joke that oh it's my first time guys yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and then read what's on the paper and know where I am and carry on. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. I forgot halfway through because I was nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it out. Bro, I swear to God, mm. I was looking at the, the piece of paper. Yeah. I couldn't see shit. And I was there just looking at it. And I was like, when when are the words going to appear? Like, yeah, I could yeah, not yeah. see it. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I just got to freestyle it. And then straight away, I saw a white guy. I just, I just thought, let me just freestyle and take a piss out of him. <laughs> yeah. Easy target, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> and, and and luckily, it, it went all right. And you know what? To be fair, I've had great experiences with stand-up. And yeah. I, f- I feel that it's really weird what you were saying, though. It was kind of like a lot of stand-up comedians will probably look at me and think, 
you didn't do you didn't go through the traditional route yeah you know, yeah, the, yeah of of mm. like doing these smallest comedy clubs and doing this and that mm. usually i was i was lucky and blessed where i already got a fan base so i could start doing mm -hmm. you know three four five hundred seaters a thousand seaters and then being a youtube ambassador you know i was performing to like like ten thousand people at a time yeah they would just set it up and i would just yeah, come yeah, on and yeah. do my thing mm. um and 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 my manager really wants to get me into it because he really he really believes that i can be really good but i always have this i don't know man i don't know if it's my my confidence yet i i i genuinely i i don't want to question if i'm good enough mm. but because i've it's kind of like i feel like i've winged it and mm. it's worked mm. but like certain stand-up comedians i look at them and i'm like you guys are incredible like you know like and I, I just feel like, I don't even know what it is. I'm just rambling yeah. on, but. No, 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 but I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Though, you, know, because, you see what I'm saying? Because I think with comedy, it definitely comes through confidence. Yeah. And I say that, like, I get asked, like a lot of people ask me, oh, like, how, how, how do I get into comedy? What what should I do? Yeah. And, and I'm just like, just do as much open mics as you can, because yeah. it's all about building your confidence yeah, up. Yeah. It's not about having the funniest joke, mm. because even when you do have the funniest joke, that's your funniest joke now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like, it's almost like, that's like, if you want to talk in wrestling terms, that's like your people's elbow a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. For the first couple of years, that's your the one you like, this is going to land. But even when you're always thinking, how can I make it better? Yeah. How can I keep making this, this good joke I've got even better? How can yeah. I expand it? How can I add bits onto it? How can I make a, maybe a story of it yeah, and make yeah. it five minutes instead of like a one, one minute and stuff. But I always say it definitely just, just comes through confidence you yeah. know like i think just the more you do it and the more you have belief in yourself yeah it's, it's almost like with anything but mainly with comedy for me is what's kind of got me to where i'm now is just how confident i am yeah but it's just confidence which expands into like a more confident in like my appearance on stage yeah i wasn't confident in my appearance on stage for a long time okay i'd, I'd always be like I, there's one point i when i was really young i used to wear like a bright red top and bright red vans. Sick guy. So that, I would always color coordinate. Yeah. <laughs> like, I look like an idiot. <laughs> like, if, you, if you see some of my, my, my old, old stuff, yeah, yeah. Or I'd wear like a turquoise top and yeah. turquoise vans because I was like, I need something that the people can remember me by. Yeah, yeah, the vans. Because they, they might not know me. Do yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So they might say like, oh, I can't remember. Who's that guy? He was wearing a turquoise top and turquoise <laughs> vans. Like, do you know? And then if a picture yeah. comes, oh, there he is. There yeah. he is. Yeah. So, and then I, I got more confident, like, in my appearance yeah. in terms of comedy. And then I went through this weird stage of, like, i got to dress down. Yeah. I can't dress up and look good on stage. Yeah, I yeah. still have that now, to be fair. Yeah. Because I think with stand-up, it's like, you know, when I watch, like, some of my favourite comedians, you see them on, like, the O2 or whatever or somewhere in the States and yeah. they're wearing, like... If you look at like let's say Kevin Hart, yeah, Kevin know. Hart, oh, yeah, yeah, like gold like, mic. Yeah, no you know one's I mean? robbed him on stage. Yeah, you know gold I mean? mic and so much nice bling. watches and stuff. And yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, oh, Mo's living that life as well. I wish with a I coffee wish. machine that has got mad names. <laughs> <laughs> you should bring that on stage just put it down and do your set don't even acknowledge it just l let the people know what's up guys you guys like coffee <laughs> all right watch this <laughs> pretty funny stuff right there <laughs> but yeah I, it was my my confidence my my confidence my appearance i, I went through this weird stage of like making sure i always had a, a fresh haircut on stage yeah, because yeah. i was always like I'm going to be judged yeah, if, I, yeah, if I look yeah, a bit yeah. dusty and stuff. Yeah. So it was so many things. And then I kind of was just like, I don't even, that stuff doesn't even matter. I yeah. just need to be confident in the type of material I want to, I want to tell. Yeah. Like talking about myself, like me being like dyslexic and yeah. my family, but I want to talk about them. I don't want to make them look stupid yeah, at yeah, the same yeah, time, yeah. but I kind of want, I got like, it's my life a little yeah, bit. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? And this, it is like therapy and stuff. But, um, with this episode, what I kind of wanted to talk to you on as well is like with you being like an ambassador and what one thing that really struck a chord in me yesterday was um, with your screening yeah. about going into schools and stuff like that um, and with your children's book and stuff. So yeah. I wanted to I wanted to go back in time a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like what was like that? Let's 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 say we're in primary school. Yeah. So this topic will this episode be about primary school. What was the early Hamza like in primary school? Because I feel like you like, in terms of, I say it from the outside because from from an outside perspective of when I first ever seen you was from YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So what was that early Humza like yeah. in primary school that we didn't see on YouTube busting jokes and yeah, stuff? You, you know, in primary school, this is the maddest thing. Um, in primary school, I was very... Um, it's, it's so weird because I was like two personalities. I was like a yeah. full on G Gemini. Like there was one side of me, yeah. which was the crazy clown, yeah, you know, always yeah, yeah. bussing the jokes, being kind of like that, you know, yeah, yeah, that yeah. idiot in class, you know. Um, but then at the same time, I would be quite shy and quite reserved and just kept to myself. So it, it was really weird. Like I think my, my, my primary school was like, I think, well, yeah, primary school wise, I, I had my group of friends. I was known as the funny one, but mm. I wouldn't branch out of my circle. I'd keep myself to myself. Um, so, and I wasn't even that naughty, but outside of primary and secondary, mm. I was more naughty, if that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. So I, I kind of, I felt like I left, uh, I lived two lives where in school mm. I was actually quite, you know, reserved. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And just had a few people around me. Yeah. Uh, but in secondary school, it was kind of, it was kind of different. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I always felt with primary school, it's like, it's your first, like, because you go from, like, you kind of go from that nursery stage to primary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I always, it's so, now that I've got, like, um, like nephews, you see the evolution yeah. of, of children a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you see how, like, a child is in nursery. They just like to play. Yeah. But you see how they interact. But then they go through that stage of, like, between, like, maybe, like, I'm going to say, like, six and nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like their personality traits come out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, But you yeah. know, you see some kids, you're like, oh, you're a little prick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even like Trust this kid, bro. Like, bro, our, our kids are long. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. I, yeah, man, like... You got children, man, any chance? No, I, not that I know of. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> I'm sure I haven't, but, <laughs> but yeah, man. No, I don't think I have, man. But yeah. I don't know, like, you're not children. Like, I like, I like them. Yeah. For like half an hour, 45 <laughs> minutes max. And then it's like... Then I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what, you know, it's the maddest thing. Like you go to your friend's house. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and then you'll start playing with them. Yeah. Not Fayaz, by the way, because I love his kids and he's yeah. my best friend. So he's probably watching this. <laughs> but other kids, uh, 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 my other friend's kids, like you play with them, innit? Like yeah. just to show the parents, oh, look, I like them. Mm. You know, you can like me now. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like fathers, especially, they become very judgmental. Like if you don't play with their kids yeah, that yeah, much, yeah, yeah, yeah. then they might like... Why, why don't you like my son, Yeah, man? put a little why bit... Why do you like my daughter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't come around. He doesn't come and play with the kid. Like, like <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm an old guy. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. come down to your house and play with the kid for no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, so like, I'll try to like, you know, start playing with them and say, oh, you know, just, you know, I'll just look at the parents, like my friends. I'll be like, look, I'm playing with your kids, man. I'm such yeah, a yeah, cool yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the worst <laughs> thing about it is afterwards, they would expect more playtime. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah. when you sit down, you're like, I've done my 15, 20 minute shift. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then you're trying to chill with your kids and they're like, and I'm like, what, what do you want? And they would, like, they would hold the, the toy or the ball or whatever, the coloring book that I was coloring yeah, in. And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. your time is up, my, my G. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can officially fuck off now. You know what I mean? I used you for those 20 minutes to prove my relationship. <laughs> but I said, your time is up. <laughs> So anyway, that's. Uh, wait, did you ever have a girlfriend in primary school? Um, yeah, I think I kind of did. Come on, Mo. Yeah, you naughty little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I did have. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, but it was like. Was it like a, just a side thing? Like, it wasn't even a. No, nah, it was like like marriage one. It was like you know, like when you was in primary school and you had a girlfriend. Yeah. It it, it was just like it was like, yeah, I like you. Yeah, I like you. <laughs> Do you want to be my boyfriend? Yeah. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to play in the sand. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Yeah. And he was just like, and then like you go home, he's like, because you know kids is like, I always used to tease my, my nephew. He's like, yeah. you has got a girlfriend. No, no way. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. And they get angry and start punching you. I'm like, blood. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't yeah. have a girlfriend. Yeah. Stop saying that. <laughs> That's, that's what they do. But I, it's like you had a girlfriend by like, yeah. it was like by like default. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we understood it at that no, time. No, 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 no. I remember there was this girl that I really liked. Mm. And I remember in my head, I was like, if she likes, I I kind of understood that if she likes you back, mm. then technically your boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember, this makes no sense now, by the mm. way. I thought if I, if I do something funny. Yeah. Then, because that's the only thing I had, you know, at the mm. time. So if, if I did something funny, 
Yeah. Then um, she will become my girlfriend. So what happened was that class, you know, those little pins, the gold pins. I don't know if they still use them. You know, like to 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 put up posters. And oh stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? And you used to, we used to bend them and stuff, and you know what I mean, like <laughs> yeah. putting your nails and whatnot. Yeah. So I put a, a bundle of them on the chair, and I said, "Oh, quickly, sit down, quick, sit down." Yeah. It was funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> she did not find that funny. <laughs> bruv, I never saw her again, bruv. Because I, so, I got in so much trouble, they moved me to another class. I never saw her again. So I didn't understand, like, how this girlfriend-boyfriend it's thing so, works. It's so funny you say that, because I remember when I was in Play Center, and there was this girl I liked. When you were a kid as well, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just for the viewers, <laughs> yeah. just in case they think, like, wrong. Yeah, I was a child, I was a child. <laughs> But I, I remember being in place and I must have been like maybe nine years old and yeah. I really liked this girl. And and I can't remember what happened, but I got her thumb. Yeah. I just bent her thumb back, you know? <laughs> and she was she was crying. <sighs> My thumb. And then like all Did you tell the, her you like her afterwards. Yes, I can't remember what happened, but then like she was crying. Yeah. Like, cause I literally got her thumb and went bow like that, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. Um, why I done this, I Big do bunchings. not know, innit? Yeah, yeah. And then like all the, like, there was like, cause like a play center, they're not, they're not like teachers, but like, like the kind of, I don't know what they, what you want to call them, but like. The substitute teachers. No, you know, like when you go to play center. Oh yeah, yeah. The, 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 the play leaders or whatever you oh, want yeah, to call yeah, them. Oh yeah, 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 help us. Like, that three, that three of the women were just like, why did you do that? Yeah. Da, 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 da. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and I just ran off. <laughs> I ran off yeah. and I was like hiding in like the, yeah. the kind of bottom end of the playground, yeah. yeah. So my sister came to pick me up and I was just like crying. Like it was so, you know, like when kids cry and it's just like, yeah. it's like, hold on a sec. Like I'm the one that's done bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like you're the... I'm the one in trouble. Yeah, yeah, but you know, like you make it, you're the victim. <laughs> it's like, why are you crying? <laughs> hey, hey, dude, hey, dude, hey, dude, no. Hey, hey. It's like, it's like, mate, like you just, you just bent back someone's <laughs> thumb, bro. You shouldn't be so yeah, upset yeah, yeah. right um, now. I think I think when when we're young, like I think that was it. Like I think we were just used to play the the victim because you know yeah, when you're yeah, when yeah. you're a young kid and you cry. Yeah. You know, for a little while, your parents will give you that attention. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're chatting yeah. shit. Yeah? yeah. You know those babies how they like <laughs> you can tell when a baby's you know needs a diaper yeah, change yeah, 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 or yeah. they just want a bit of attention. Yeah. So yeah, like I, I would always like I remember one time yeah, um, my, my, I was I was with my little brother. I was very mm. very young. So I, like kind of like I was giving him like I was pretending to be a horse, and he was like sitting sitting on my back here. Yeah? Obviously, I was very young. Yeah, it wasn't mm. it wasn't last week or anything. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 I remember falling down. Yeah. And my my brother who was like very young. Yeah. He like hit the glass. The glass didn't shatter, but he hit the glass like the, the, there was Boom. some glass next That's to the that TV. That's that sound, didn't it? Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and uh, what's it called? Uh, my dad yeah. straight away was like, you know, what the fuck? You know, what do you do? You know, and, but my dad would never hit me though. Yeah, my dad would never hit me. So yeah. I, I bear love for him for that. Yeah. But what he did is he was he was trying to pick me up. Yeah? yeah. So he was trying to grab me from my arms. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm pulling back because I know uh, for some weird reason, it's weird because it was like- You're just danger, isn't it? You're yeah, yeah kid, so like, I, you just want to like shrivel up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and run away. Like. And, uh, yeah, yeah, all, all run away. But I just knew that if I was to get up, I just didn't want to get like a little- Maybe a little slap on the... Yeah, I didn't know yeah, what yeah. he was going to do. So I was just like bare shriveling up and he's trying to pull my arm, yeah. pull my arm up. And um, I was wearing a vest at the time. And then what <laughs> happened was afterwards, you know, because I knew that I shouldn't have done it because my dad kept saying, don't do that, you're going to yeah. hurt him. So what I did, I had a little scratch on my armpit. So what I did, yeah, I swear on my life, I got all the plasters in my first aid box yeah. and I put it one by one, made out that my dad... <laughs> fully assaulted me yeah and i swear on my life it was the most uncomfortable thing ever because i slept like this and i was like topless i've never slept topless in my life and i slept like this and i slept in my i just wanted my dad to come into the room and see this like exaggerated damage and i literally i just i remember i remember i remember my dad look i could sense him looking at me like what the fuck it was never that deep and i just remember just i tried to do it naturally it was like <laughs> I just tried to stretch a little bit more and it was just it was mad and it was, you know what it does when you take the plaster off and there's no blood like right in the middle there's yeah, no blood yeah, 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 yeah. it was literally a scratch like, a scab wouldn't even fit. so yeah I think we, we play on that you know what I mean that vulnerability man so yeah and it's quite funny as well like when you like girls young yeah, you'd, yeah, you'd, yeah. You'd, in, in a way you would hurt them yeah, and yeah, it's so yeah. good. It's, I'm glad that we mature mm. because imagine if we don't mature, and like we're like 35, and a girl's there, and you just bend her thumb. She calls like the police, 
and you're just there. You, the police are trying to question you, like, I, 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 I don't know who are you, who are you, <laughs> mate. You're 35, mate. <laughs> Oh man! So, you, in terms of primary school, would you? So, you said that you was like the kind of the funny kid, but you yeah. was also like kind of shy in yeah, primary school yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah. So, like, because I remember, like, when I was in in primary school, it's that thing of like kids are like comfortable with kids, yeah. But then, like, I always felt when I was like, especially when I was in primary school, like I, I got, I just say, no, no, not so much when I'm in primary school, but my mum would do like a shop, and then she sees one of her friends, yeah, and then yeah. immediately you kind of just go back into your shell. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's like, it's that, I think that's like the, that thing about like, when you're, when you are in primary school and you are like a young kid of how like your, your this personality is evolving. Yeah, kind of yeah. Thing. So yeah. when you're kind of with your friends, you can be your friends, but then yeah. like the minute you're around adults, you kind of can go back into your shell a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's only until like, you get older and older and yeah. older that then, you know, that, and I think that's still like, the older you get, that still changes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, we, we we grow in a process, and I think that, as I said, in, in my primary school, in my secondary school, like, I w- I was I look at myself and I was very, it's weird because I would say I'm I was very different, but even now it's mad because half the time I would be very you know I'm known as being a bit loud, a bit you know out there and stuff like that. Mm. You know, we all as comedians, we all have yeah, that. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. But then at the same time, and I, I think a lot of comedians are like that as well. But then mm. I'm like really reserved, and I just kind of. Like yeah. my own space. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot yeah, of people of do anyway, but it's just weird because it's the total opposite personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think only when I hit college, um, I, 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 I think it was all down to confidence. I think I was very confident with a, a certain amount of people near mm. me. Like my family, I'd be confident because my cousins, I'd be confident. Mm. But then making new friends, you know, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable with, you know, Mohammed and Akbar, but maybe I'm a bit scared with like a bit prang of Jessica and, and, and Brian, do you know mm. what I mean? So it took me a while to kind of, you know, understand that, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, everyone are, is different, but you are mm. the same and you just need to be proud of yourself. And only yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I think only in college was actually, you know, primary school and secondary school, I was always like that. And I think only in college where mm. I just became more of that, you know, just prominent, you know, mm. funny guy. And I just, I got less and less reserved. I got more comfortable making friends. And now I feel like I can ha- spark a conversation with anyone. Mm. But it took a while, like primary school and secondary school. I was very, I remember the first day actually of primary school, no word mm. of a lie, I was so shook. Mm. I just, like my break time, I walked around the playground. Like it yeah. was, uh, like it was a, a walking marathon. And I was just walking yeah. by myself and just <laughs> looking around. And I remember stopping and thought, this is bare sad. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. this is a bit lonely. Like, they can make movies about this shit. You know what I mean? This is, it's not a positive start to the day. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. like, I need to make friends and stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah, man, it was, it, was, it, was, it was weird. What about you? Do you find that as well? No, yeah, definitely. I think, like, for me, like, college and university was where I kind of really... Because... It, when how I look at it is like you go through primary school you're kind of you know you go from nursery yeah ultra freedom yeah guys do you want go and play everywhere you can you go run around and play and I remember like I I remember my early days of nursery being like wow this is amazing yeah yeah. man's playing in the sand yeah yeah then I'm gonna go on this fake motorbike and pretend (laughs) that I'm playing it yeah yeah yeah. I might make some play-doh then I might play with some water like that was like my life for like maybe like two years and then I think it was like five years old reception. Yeah. And I remember how weird it was. I'll never forget it where it's like, it's like I just went from this fun time at nursery. We we're having fun. We we're going on swings. And then it's um, obviously there must've been like a six weeks holiday. Yeah. And then my, I'll never forget my first day. My mum, we were running late. Yeah. And my mum just kind of pushed me into this class. Yeah. No, saying that what happened four years old, we got to visit like the class yeah. with other kids in it. So okay, that, yeah. so the kids above, uh, year above. So yeah. I was, I think I, I remember this as well. So I was in a um, nursery, mm. we sat down and it, like I remember my teacher, Miss Kelleher, mm. she sat us down and we, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, baby, these kids are sitting down, bruv. Yeah. Oh, well, I want to go and play with that play that I was <laughs> playing with. <laughs> But what it is, they're getting you used to because you're going to be in the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. I, I didn't know this at the time. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, okay, cool. And I remember this teacher, Miss Keller, she was quite strict, she's an Irish teacher. She was like, cool, cool, sit down, sit yeah. down. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Yeah, yeah. I'll sit down. I have nap time whenever I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's going on here, Where's kind of milk? thing? <laughs> and then because some of us got separated as well. Yeah, yeah. And then 
I remember we went, that was only like brief. That must be like half an hour, an hour. Yeah. And we went back into nursery. Yeah. I remember playing. We must have had six weeks holiday. But at the time I was so young, I didn't even know what six weeks holiday was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I remember just the first day of being in reception, yeah. like must have been like four and a half, five years old. And my mum just pushed me like, go on, go on, yeah, go yeah, in, yeah. you're running late. And I was like, what? Where's this lad? Where's the water? Where's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. what's going on? And I'm, Did you have I, to wear a uniform? No, so you don't have to wear a uniform. Okay. No, no. So my mum pushed yeah. us in. And then I remember just sitting down on the carpet, yeah, just looking around. And it was it was like literally like the first day of prison. I'm looking at all these other kids like, yeah, yeah, what's going yeah. on, man? You knew as well, man. Yeah, yeah. I know, man. Yeah, I just came from, yeah, they just transferred me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was in nursery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, bruv? No, homeschooled. <laughs> Mad. Man. And that was, that was my, I remember the first day very vividly. Yeah. And then it's like structure. Yeah. You get ready for structure and you have that from, almost like from your five until your, let's say juniors, mm. like your six to like secondary school. Yeah. That whole structure, you got to be on on time. You you rebel a little bit yeah. when you're in primary school, um, secondary school, yeah, yeah. you get a bit more freedom, you know, you might travel by yourself, yeah. but you're still going through the same structure. You 100%. answer to a teacher. Teacher yeah. tells you to get out, you'll get out. Yeah. And it was only until like college, university, I remember when it was like, do you know what? I ain't. I ain't going in today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't feel like I was in, <laughs> but, but I didn't feel like I'm lying or like, do you know what I mean? Like, because when you, yeah. you know, when you're in secondary school, you say, mama, I, I don't feel well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sick. But you yeah. just wanted a day off. Like, yeah. but I think like college days, I was like, I'm, I'm not going to go. I'm just going to stay home and play pay, play down water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to go in the bathroom and play with some water. Yeah. And I think, yeah, it's, it's I can see what you're saying though. Yeah. Like with that, because you're going through going through that system, learning, yeah, and then man. you go through college and it is that independence because now like you're a, you're an adult. Yeah. It's what you've it's what you've looked up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a kid, you're like, I can't wait to be an adult. Yeah, I yeah. can't wait. Watch when I'm 18. And I'm then gonna... as soon as you become an adult, you realise how... You're like, what? It's dead. Yeah. Where's the Play-Doh, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what are these bills? I think with primary school, like what I think I used to love about primary school is, which is a little bit different to secondary school. Yeah. Because... Secondary school, it's you're a teenager now. Yeah, yeah. And as much as I love my secondary school years, you're a teenager. Like it's that where, that you you find where, where do I fit in? Yeah, yeah. Where, where's yeah. my place? Yeah, Who am yeah, I? You start discovering yourself. Yeah. Primary school, I never really found that. I, yeah. I was always evolving. Yeah. But it's like you know, like we go assembly. It, it's a weird space, isn't it? Yeah. I I I mean, yeah. Uh, primary school, like. You know, like, obviously, as soon as you said today's topic is primary school, I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know, primary school was such a weird one. Yeah. You know, like, I, like you loved it, but it was, it was literally like, it was like experiencing life with other people for the first time in a way. Because like yeah. before, you know, like when you're in nursery, you're kind of keeping to yourself. You have maybe a couple of, couple of friends here and there, but you're just, you're in your zone. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. it's like, yeah, you're learning like structure. You're learning how to sit in classrooms. You have homework you know mm. in primary school and stuff mm. and um uh, i remember it's like the first time like uh they were like it was just a lot of, i felt pressured as well because they were like oh who wants to learn instruments <laughs> yeah now, i'm pakistani <laughs> you know what i mean like I, we don't we maybe we might play on some drums you know like <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean but we don't really you don't see bear pakistanis like saying mom i want to play piano like we don't <laughs> you know where's the triangle at guys you know i'm ready to to make the music, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so, so they, when they, like, when my teacher was like, oh, like, you know, who wants to learn instruments? And yeah. I was like, I felt like I had to say yes. Yeah, yeah, So I was yeah. like, yeah, you know, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, what and did then, you go with? What was your instrument? So my, my, my first instrument was flute. Okay. What was your one? I can't remember for me. Yeah. I just used to, I always, I used to love the drum kit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, the drum yeah, kit yeah. just looked like, I really want to go on the drum yeah, kit. Yeah. In my primary school, we had a big xylophone. Oh. Like a wooden one. Okay, yeah, yeah. But you sit on a chair yeah, yeah. and you play it. Otherwise, you get the little small ones. Yeah, yeah. Or you get the metal ones and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I always wanted to be on that. If you were on that big xylophone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. You made it. Like you had, you had yeah, made yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But instead, I wasn't even getting the triangle. I'd get like, you know, when you get the thing and you got to get like a. Oh, wooden that wooden. Brrr, that thing. Brrr, yeah. Brrr. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was that was the thing I normally get. Yeah, I think someone made that up. Yeah, you know, that for like like there was percussion. a kid left that every, all the instruments are used, and they're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. here's two pieces of wood and one's a bit chiselled. Yeah, yeah. Just rub it together. It's an instrument. <laughs> yeah, but it don't make no noise. Yeah, because that's what, I think we had, we had, we had something like that in primary school when it yeah. was like 
go on guys pick an instrument yeah and like you be left that and you're looking in the thing in, like, in the box in the box yeah 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 and that'll yeah, be the yeah. last one left and you'll be like and then even it's not even a nice sort of sound like, like it's like the end of something <laughs> But you're playing it halfway through a song. It don't make sense. I don't think I've ever heard that in a track and be like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. that percussion oh, instrument? Oh, killing it. Like, that, they turn that brat thing up, bro. <laughs> I, my, my first one was the flute. And I remember it was so embarrassing. Yes, I get yeah. this. So I said, yeah, yeah, I, I, I want to play the flute. And then I remember they said, oh, are you intermediate or something else? And I was like, what is that? I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought intermediate sounds quite normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, so me and my friend, I told my friend, I'll oh, come, let, you know, we'll do this, yeah? So he's like, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. we'll play the flute, we're gonna, we're gonna get some girls, yeah? That was actually after the, the, the thingy instrument. Yeah. You know the time where I put the pins in and yeah, I lost yeah, my yeah. girlfriend? So I needed something to recover, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember, yeah, it was lunchtime and yeah. it was like our first lesson and we were given a flute. Like, I, I, I no, my mum had to pay for a flute. Yeah. And she was like, well, you're not gonna use this ever, yeah? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, trust me, I'm, I'm, I wanna learn. And, um, and I, we had the book as well. And then I was like, oh, cool, I'm going to learn it. And I came in with my friend and we came late, really late. And everyone was already there, yeah. you know, playing the flute and stuff. And they were like, oh, we have two new students. So we sat down. I was like, cool. Anyway, they're like, can you open to page seven? I was like, wicked. They're like, all right, guys, let's go. And I'm like, whoa, like, where's the learning? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. what do you mean? Let's go. And I realized intermediate, like they've, they've, they're a bit more advanced. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, how yeah, to yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. And then I remember my teacher put it on the spot. And yeah. then, um, <laughs> this is actually true. She's turned around and she's like, oh, you know, you obviously you guys are new. Do you want to play uh, page A onwards, you yes. know, together? <laughs> and I remember, <laughs> I remember, you know, because you just, I'm just a little fat fucking daddy boy <laughs> singing the flute. And I, I just remember saying, oh, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got up, left, and I was so shook of my mum because yeah. she found out that she spent like twenty pound on a flute. Yeah. And I, so every day <laughs> I would be in my room going <laughs> I didn't even know how to play it. But I did for half an hour just so my mum knows that twenty pound was was alright. But like for for very long. <laughs> very long. And yeah man, it was mad. I never know how I never knew how to play the flute, but I played it for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for just so my mum wouldn't slap me up. Yeah, the flute was the like that if yeah. you played the flute because flute had like like you needed to know how to play the flute. Yeah, Every, yeah. You can play a triangle cool like yeah, yeah, yeah. a xylophone just do d do, 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 do. Yeah. but a flute is yeah it's yeah, complex real, there's man. so many holes and did stuff did it come in like a case yeah i had the case yeah. I was big. it was a mustard case i was so gassed <laughs> like i felt so like uh but then when i walked out of that classroom as yeah. soon as i said like we don't belong here yeah i just felt so smelly and that's when i started losing the case didn't care yeah then, yeah yeah then i just like oh like but i used to take like before we because I thought we were going to learn it. So mm. before I used to take care of this flute, yeah. I, I had like its own case. I used to put it on the top of the cupboard. Yeah. I used to tell my friends, yeah, I have a flute. You want to see it? <laughs> and I, go, <laughs> I show Akbar Muhammad, hey guys, this this is what we, you know, we do. We, we play this as well, you know, in the school. And, uh, but I never learned it at all. And I just, yeah, man, I was demoralizing. Nah, them, are them kids I used to be mad jealous of. When I would yeah. see like kids my age, yeah. that could like play an instrument but like it was just the fact that they had like their own like bag yeah 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 like Separate some bag. kids would play like guitar and have like their own guitar yeah, violin but, and you'd be yeah. like rah hey, you play violin yeah, yeah, yeah. and you'll see me just me yeah, yeah, yeah. like because I think w with kids <laughs> like one thing I used to love about primary school is you know when you home in on something mm. that's it this yeah. is my this is my desire yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. and it's not even like I don't mean like sports or anything of like I remember like after school, you know, and I think one thing I kind of feel sorry for kids now is like coming home after school, you'd have like CBBC on, yeah, IT, yeah. like that, and just on like kind yeah. of one, two, three, four, five, but you'd have that on at yeah. like three o'clock. So yeah. you'd have CBBC, ITV would be on and stuff. So you had like, you'd go home, it would start bang on three yeah. to about five o'clock almost. Yeah. Whereas now they don't have that. Yeah, they yeah, just have yeah. like the chase and yeah, 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 like yeah. all these kind of programs. And I think, bro, you, I know it's different now because yeah. you've got like dedicated channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was like the the lick of just like, bro, we're three o'clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, three foot, I'm going home, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd watch a bit of Blue Peter, and even like you know, like on Blue Peter, where you like, I remember seeing something. 
Art Attack as well. Yeah, oh, Art, Art Attack. Attack yeah. Oh, Art Attack used to bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That used to, the yeah. amount of times where I'll be like, yep, yeah, yeah. man's going to create that. What you're going to need is some PVA <laughs> glue. <laughs> PVA? No, no, I'm out, I'm out guys. We ain't got no PVA in the house. We used Seriously. to make our own glue in my house, didn't it? No way. Yeah, my mum was get like that. She used to get like hot water, things like hot water, salt, and like, I think it was like flour or something like that. No way. But we had some pasty thick glue bro <laughs> so you can imagine you know like when it's that like blue peter like yeah. it's the deluxe like prick stick glue yeah, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. i think i was trying to make like this 3d book okay, so they show yeah. you so like, what you yeah. want to do is cut that like that yeah, yeah. so you i'm putting like all the bits down i've mm. got this pasty glue like you know i made i'm like it's still glue in it yeah, yeah yeah brother when i mean this thing was weighing so much because how much glue because it's not it's not like it's prick stick glue in it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like this pasted salt it's like i think it was literally salt and flour and hot yeah. water and I'm trying to do it, and I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. Here goes the 3D book. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah this, is, this is just long still. Yeah, yeah arts and, did you do arts and crafts like, at home? Uh, you know what, shall I be honest with you? So yeah. my when I remember after primary school, yeah. I started Madressa, which is like, um, uh, kind of like, uh, you just going to the mosque, but to learn, you know, uh, like read the Quran. And it mm. was kind of like, uh, you, you know, like um, what you know when you go to church and you mm. learn for what, what, what do we what do we call it like in English because we call it madrasa. But anyway, it's like a, a religious school. Mm. So when I would finish, when I would finish school, mm. primary school, I'd come back home, and I remember at five o'clock, this van, this dirty, no license, no insurance, like van would just pull up outside my uh, my house. Yeah. And there was this guy who, honestly, I don't understand why my parents didn't, like, like he just had, like, I know it sounds bad, but he had the pedophile face. Yeah. And my, my, my parents are like, no, learn about Islam. And, <laughs> and just hand me to a pedophile, probably, <laughs> who doesn't speak any English. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember I asked him one question, and I, I can't remember. I think he just replied with, Asalaam alaikum. And I was like, <laughs> I was like no, I asked a, a proper question about, I don't know what it was. But anyway, so, and then, yeah, so, and then that van would collect kids. Yeah, all around the neighborhood, yeah. and take us to the mosque, and then we'll like learn there for an hour. So always, is this like a van with seats, like like a mini bus man, or yeah, like a, yeah, like a mini I'm, bus? Oh, okay, yeah, we yeah, said, like I'm, a van. I'm thinking a transit van of just bare kids in there, like <laughs> no, no, like, all piled up, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, like coming from France. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And and I remember, uh, it was like, like so when I came back, I would. I would be dreading it so much because I'd have to get ready. Mm. So I didn't even have time to watch TV and, and like now and again, I'd slip in a, a quick 15, 20 minutes or whatever. But I was just awaiting like this van. And I remember I, I always used to sit on the stairs, just mm. bare depressed. I was like, you know, it's just one of those ones. Let's just get it over and done with. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like one of those ones. Yeah. And I remember like I sit in the stairs and right in front of me was the door. And it was like, you know, the frosty mirror. Mm. And literally my heart, like every day I would like pray to my God. It was really bad because I'm a kid praying to God not to go to the mosque, yeah? which is mad. Yeah. When you think about yeah, it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, I was just praying like, and I, it was so bad as well. Cause I remember genuinely praying like, I hope, I hope he's unwell, the driver. I hope, I hope he's like, you know, something's wrong. There's family problem. Like I was like, I'd go properly cause I was so creative. I was like, I hope they had an accident and whatever. And, and, or they just, you know, like I was making all this stuff up. And then whenever I see the, 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 it was like a cream mini bus and it would just pull up right outside. Yeah. And then like my heart would just literally sink, you know? Yeah. And then I would just go into this van and, and then, and go there. And it was, it was hard man afterwards as well, because, they were quite strict back in the days as well. Mm. Like, you know, like if you you got things wrong, they would like they would take the stick and hit your hand. I swear. Yeah, yeah, bruv, yeah. <laughs> like it's mad. Like I remember, like, and it's always like you get in trouble, and they were like, God, God, yeah, and that means like <laughs> that means like put your hand out in it. Oh, so, so yeah. I'm like this, yeah. yeah. Right, obviously, like I was like this, <laughs> and your first reaction, if you know, like if your parents gonna hit, like whip you, you're not gonna let them have the first one. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The first couple is yours. Yeah, like, you're gonna swing it back. You know what I mean? Like whoa, and then they get more pissed off because yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah. like this, you know, like you're making me miss now on purpose. <laughs> and they were like, oh, I'm gonna give you more if you don't. So then, the, like the third one, you're just you know. Like, like you can't even yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. even you know, protect yourself and you'd get hit um and yeah man because i was obviously i was a bit naughty um so yeah i just i used to i used to not like it um mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't like it, man. I don't like it. So, yeah, man. So that's why I think I appreciated primary school, you know, yeah. like a bit more and stuff. Did you get into any fights in primary school? Were you really like... In primary yeah. school? Oh, do you know what? I can't I can't really remember a lot of fights. I remember when... Do you remember when yo-yos came out? Oh, I remember when man. yo-yos came out and I was in primary school. Did you clock the yo-yo? Did you not have oh, to yeah, do yeah, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had, I had a pound shop one in it where you oh. spin it and had the barbarian thing. Could you do the one where you put it down yeah. and then it literally rolls on the floor? Walk the dog. Yeah, yeah walk, walk the dog. Walk yeah, the yeah, dog. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll come it. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I, I, yeah. I knew literally the only trick I knew was I would do it and it would just swirl up and then you know it would go the wrong way. And then the, oh, the, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, yeah, but that yeah, wasn't yeah. even a trick. That was just like, I, all I could do was just the yo-yo, like the, the standard, just up put it down. Yeah, up and down. That was literally the. So you didn't have the barbarians where it would spin and then come back. Yeah, you would come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. would come yeah, back. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. it would tangle. I was really bad at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. sorry, carry on with you. No, no. When we, because yeah. I remember like, so I think the the main toys. I say main toys. The big crazes were definitely yo-yos. Pogs. Did you? Pogs have- were huge. Yeah. Do you man. remember those ones you could get from um, the Walker's crisps and you kind of put them. Like together, do you remember those? Oh no! I and mean. they were like all the characters of like Looney Tunes. So oh. you'd have like Taz, uh, I think and you I'm, kind of yeah, kind yeah, of put yeah, them together. Yeah, so you yeah. get them in a crisp packet. That yeah. that was like a big craze. Um, I remember. I think it was around the time when I was in primary school when you know when Walkers was like putting like ten pounds in the crisps. Do yes. you remember that? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, I yeah. remember, man. Yeah. That is so mad. Win, like, no one pounds. ever won. No yeah. one ever won twenty pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Walkers yeah. like their stock just went up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone's like, oh man, you can win twenty pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you might get the blue one, yeah, yeah. but you've won but like this, like yeah. a prize. Like, but like you yeah. never like you never really would like it'd be like yeah you've won like a bag of crisps or It'll something. It'll be the shit or, one. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I don't ever remember anyone actually having 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah, Thinking yeah. Thinking of that now, that's mad unhygienic <laughs> to have a 20 pound note <laughs> in the packet of crisps. Like. She's a Daniel Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you lot ever play con- Conkers at primary school? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Conkers yeah. We was played a thing conkers. Yeah, until yeah, it got yeah. banned. Like my school after, after a while. It. Yeah, I think after a while, because obviously like once you play the game a few times and, like, and no, you've no, got no, Conkers in your... Yeah. in your pocket and then you start dashing no, but kid, yeah kids go nuts though like yeah, when yeah. it came with conkers because i remember searching for conkers yeah and then i'm looking for the big ass conker yeah yeah man. and then like i remember we put like a because we was doing it in my area as well so we're looking and do they then, exist conkers yeah 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 yeah, like, yeah. i've never i've never seen a conker. i don't I've, see them much nowadays but there's like conker trees though but is it like less now like you know like bumblebees like you never see those brothers <laughs> yeah, ever yeah. again like, you know what I mean? yeah. like back in the day they were everywhere you're trying not to get stung <laughs> yeah you know, like one of those yeah, ones, yeah. yeah I ain't gonna lie, I see the conquer in a little mini, you know. Yeah, that's what I was as soon as you said that, I was like, bro, I didn't see a conquer. I think after the podcast, I think they are, we but like maybe in parks and stuff, in conquer trees. Yeah, yeah mate, there must I'm, be around. I haven't seen that. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, I have yeah. to Google it because a global oh, warming and stuff. Funny, like, boy, conquers. Yeah. But so, conquers yeah. was good. Um, I remember what other games that I used to play as. Well. Oh, did you ever? Did you ever do? You know, like when they you're allowed to bring in your own toys. Everyone was allowed to bring in one toy. Yes. And it made you realise how how more, how much more your friend's parents loved them by the buying toy these yeah, yeah, yeah. toys. Because someone like, had some bad boy toys. You bring a toy in, yeah. I think you got to pay a pound yeah, in some yeah. schools because it goes Dude, to like charity and stuff. Yeah. Never yeah, went to yeah, charity, yeah. brother. And it was annoying because a lot of my toys growing up were like toy guns. Okay. But okay. we weren't allowed to bring guns. Cause I'm like, oh, bruv, man's got the M16. Yeah, yeah, machine. Yeah, you know yeah. the ones you get from the pound shop and like it makes a sound and it yeah, flashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a sparks is like. Brr, brr, Do you know how satisfying brr. it is when you press it? Oh you know my that, gosh, that, bruv. There's, there's a little bit of resistance, but yeah, soon yeah, yeah, as soon you yeah. get it, yeah, it's a mad feeling, it, it, man. It, it never really I'm not felt like condoning a, like. No, no, but it was like it was like a motor in the gun almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like no, because I remember back then. Do you remember those little? I don't know what they were called, the Smurfs with the long hair. Oh, the dolls. The um, yeah, but I, there was like the I mean, small they, ones, the bigger ones. What are they called? What's the original they name? Ugly it might, fuckers. It might you know just be those? called Smurfs. Or something. No, no, no they it was Smurfs. Smurfs are the blue brothers. The yeah, 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 yeah. That's Smurfs yeah. still. I said oh, it like, I didn't, it might just be Smurfs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, dolls. What? what trolls. Is, was it trolls? trolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trolls, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're in a film now. No way. Yeah, yeah. They've got, they made like a troll film. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. With a blue hair. Yeah, I remember those That's still. Ma- yeah, so I, I had, I had one, but I stole it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then it was mad because like, I took it one day to, um, to, you know, when you're allowed to bring in your toy and then yeah. someone was like, That's my toy. Yeah. You know, and then I had to like, I had to make up a story that, no, nah, this is my mum brought it for me. And it was just mad. And I just gave it away because I knew it was just long. But I remember 
everyone else's toys were so sick and one of my friends i'll never i'll never forget it's mad how you will never forget certain things he had you know the ghostbusters yeah the actual the, the actual car oh with all four ghostbusters yeah like hand hand size yeah yeah, yeah 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 and and bro i swear to you it was like the maddest toy i've ever seen in yeah, my yeah, life yeah. like even thinking about it now makes yeah. me gasp no 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 that's a, that's a big back in the day that was a big yeah, boy toy any any i remember the ghostbusters stuff was big i remember i wanted something of the ghostbusters and i was like mom can i get i think there was you know remember that thing that they get to capture the ghosts yeah. And it opens. Oh, yeah. did you have that? Yeah, I had no, that. No, no, no. My mum got it from a boot sale, but like oh. it was just that bit, basically. Oh, it? Yeah. yeah. But I wanted the thing you put I on your. I had the packs. With it. Yeah, I, had the I packs. wanted the thing on my back still. Yeah. But the packs were so lazy. It was yeah. literally like a plastic carton on your back, and they just slapped a sticker on it. What? Or, yeah, yeah. So like literally, literally, it was like. So you didn't have the official Ghostbusters one. No, I think. Oh, maybe my. Yeah. I don't even know if it was official. That's yeah. all I remember. Like I had the thing on the back. Yeah. But it was literally like it was just blue plastic and they just slapped a sticker on it and it just had the the the, the lights of the Ghostbuster kind of yeah, it was yeah. it was it was a cheap one. My dad yeah, yeah. probably like yeah. No, back in the day there was a lot of like fake remix toys. Yeah, yeah, Cuz yeah. I I think now it's different cuz of like copyright laws and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, I remember there was a couple of toys that were fake and I was like this don't look like the authentic yeah, Ghostbusters, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just looking like ghosts. They're called Ghost Man or something like that. Uh, you know, uh, you know the best thing for fake things um, is uh, you know in Dubai. Yeah. yeah this is a true story. I actually talked about it in my stand up. There was actually a shop. I remember I went to the old part of Dubai, and there was a shop. I swear on my life, yeah. Run by Pakistanis, by the way. So shout out to you, brothers. They called the shop Tesco Gucci Reebok. That was the, that was the name of the shop. Yeah, yeah. No word of like because yeah. like, I was, I remember asking someone. I was like, oh, where, uh, where do I get like just tops, like normal tops? They go, yeah, oh, yeah. Tesco Gucci Reebok, yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah. um, and I remember like going there, and the funniest thing I ever saw like the night ticks were all bent. Yeah, they couldn't even spell night properly. I'm like, it's four letters, bro. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like one said Nick. I was like, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want like some random brother's name on my left hip. <laughs> And it was like a tick underneath, like, yeah, I did Nick. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want that kind of, like, tattoo on just my... Just done it. Just yeah, done yeah, it. Just, yeah, just, yeah, just done it. Yeah. And, and, and I remember this one Adidas top, yeah? It's the funniest thing ever, yeah? No, it wasn't Adidas. No, I think it was... Yeah, I think it was Adidas, yeah? It had Adidas. And under underneath, just for it to... For, for them to convince you that it's real, mm. yeah? Um... Because obviously there's so many fakes out there. So they thought, oh, how are we going to make people think that it's it's a real authentic top? Mm. So no word of it. For them to make you believe it's real, they had the Adidas logo and mm. underneath they actually wrote real. <laughs> what? The word real? <laughs> no, nah, man. I swear, I swear on my life. <laughs> so, so, so they thought by putting real in it, people were like, <coughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man because i thought for a minute yeah, yeah. it was counterfeit but because it says re- okay because right. it says real you've, you've oh my god yeah, yeah. that's a true story man because so, I, yeah. I know in china there's like a i've seen one youtube thing where they've got like a whole market yeah purely of fakes and stuff yeah bro that that place is the it's the maddest thing ever bro yeah like sometimes the fakes are so good they're better than the originals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. that's how they've mastered it. You mm. know what I mean? And they wouldn't call it fakes there. I remember like some guy, I think it was in, once again in Dubai, and he tried to sell me a watch. And I was like, nah, bro, that's fake. And he goes, No, this is original master copy. <laughs> and I was like, that sounds better than it being real. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Original master copy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just sounds so dope. And <laughs> yeah. I nearly brought it still, but yeah, man, the fakes there, man, I'm mad, but yeah. It's mad though, but I think I think when I was growing up though, like what was your favorite toy? Because I remember I had my turtles phase. I think turtles were yeah. I went through a little turtle phase. Turtles, Power Rangers. Yeah, pa- I think Power Rangers, Power Rangers Power Rangers were more my little. Flip when you hit the oh ball. shit! Yeah, the one that had head flipped. Yeah. Did you have the sword? The white sword. You know the white ranger. Did oh yeah, the white. The... No, no, I never had that. Oh. That was expensive still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would I literally play with all my the brothers. Because the best, because yeah, Power Rangers was big back in the day. 
Like, yeah. but I remember when they, I remember because you had, everyone wanted, you know, as your kid, when you play in, yeah. the, in as boys, you'd be like, I'm, you'd all pick your Power Ranger, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm the Red Ranger, innit? Yeah, yeah, Cool. Yeah. No one ever picked the Blue Ranger. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I used to pick the Blue Ranger for yeah. a period. And then I, I really looked into it. Because he was like the nerdy like, one, innit? Yeah, and I looked yeah, into yeah, yeah, it yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, I do like the color blue, which is the advantage, but his name's Billy. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a nerd. The, black, like the he, black guy was looks called... looks like he doesn't even have to play... The black guy's called Zach or something like that. Zach, yeah, Zach. I felt sorry for him, man. Well, the thing is, he was black, but they like, you know, like back in those days where like the black guy would always have like an African pendant. Oh, to yeah, be like, yeah, yo, yeah, man, yeah. I'm ultra black. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. An African pendant. <laughs> but that was, that was, that was racist. Had, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, like yeah. literally like, literally all we remember is he was black. It was but like, he didn't have personality. Nah. Yeah, remember the, the yellow, so he got the uh, yellow was a black lady. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. The yellow oh, ranger, was, was, yeah, the yellow was a Chinese lady. She passed away as well. She died. No way. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, still. Oh, yeah, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was Kimberly? Kimberly was the pink one. Yeah, but was she, she hot? She was buff still. Yeah, was yeah, she yeah, hot? Yeah, yeah. Because like now, when I'm looking at it, I'm I don't, like, I don't know now, but as a kid, she, she's in that SWAT show. Oh yeah, SWAT show. Okay. Oh, I, I don't even know. But the, but Power Rangers <laughs> got mad after a while, didn't it? Like he got mad after a while because they start going space. His brother started going space and everything. I was like, no, that's not. Said, oh, I don't even know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> man ended that talk. <laughs> no, no, no. But Power Rangers was getting mad though. Yeah, yeah. Power, yeah, Power yeah, Rangers yeah, was yeah, real, yeah. man. It was real. But, but don't you think Power Rangers didn't make no sense because the <laughs> no, woman? Obviously. No, no, no. It's not like. Yeah, but you know, like when you watch it back, you're like, what the fuck was he watching? Because the woman <laughs> would be seen. like in space or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, in the like, was it the moon? She was chilling in the moon with somewhere that. like that, and yeah. she, well, she used to throw the thing from the moon, <laughs> yeah, yeah. all the way to Earth, yeah, 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 and then that would create the monster. Do you yeah. remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then always the last ten minutes is like the the fake fight, like with the, with the yeah, buildings, yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. The Megazord kind of, brother, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. so fake. Yeah, yeah. And I liked it when you know they get hit and they yeah. would like always go to the side, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was just like oh. You know who else was shit? Was you remember those like the the woman? She was like, ah, I'm gonna send it down to destroy you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she'd do it. And th- there used to be these guys, like, what are they called? The, the, party, the party guys. Yeah, the party, yeah, yeah. Brother, them <laughs> man done nothing, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, where did they, how was they produced? Yeah, yeah. Because like you hit them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, what the, f- you lot of shit, bro. Yeah, it's like the Foot Clan. You know the Foot yeah. Clan in, in Turtles, those brothers that dress up like ninjas. But none of them ever won a fight. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Throughout yeah, all this yeah. season, not one one got like a, a lucky bang. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a kick. Or like, if there's enough of you, yeah. man, just just hold man down, yeah, bro. Do you know what I mean? They all coming like one individually. That is twenty of them. <laughs> there's only four turtles. It's like, all right, let's go <laughs> one by one, mano on mano. And then, do you, know, do you think like after like years and years of losing yeah, yeah, against yeah. four turtles, the four guy will be like, oh, brothers, let, you know what? Next one, instead of doing this one on one thing. Bro, them man, they keep yeah. taking them out. What we need to do, we just rush them as one, bro. Yeah, Don't yeah. do the when I'm when I, if you buy me, a gun, bro. If you see me fighting him, bang him in the side, bro. Yeah, bang yeah. him in the yeah, because yeah, that they used to frustrate me. And then there was those two like other guys. Who are they? No, is it Bebop and Rocksteady? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they be like the two guys, like, hey man, where you guys at? It's yeah. like uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out that you're Power Rangers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Skull, man. What were oh. they called? Vulcan skull. Yeah, the, okay. Guy guy. Yeah, from Power Rangers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're basically oh, they're basically yeah, modeled yeah. on the same guy as the guys from uh, Turtles. Okay, okay, I okay. Think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they kind of, yeah. I think they're kind of remodeled. Then there yeah. was the other brother, the Zord. Zord. What's his name? Lord Zord was it? The guy, man, he's like Power Rangers, and he oh, was just oh Gordon, was, yeah, was Gordon. Gordon. Gordon, I think bruh, it was. man called him Zord. You know, I was <laughs> way <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> And we was like, you know, that guy, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Power Rangers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I could never, uh, that's, I could never, t- like, he was a dickhead. Do you yeah, know I, mean? don't, I don't know what, why, what he was there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he'd sort out all the things computerly. But have you noticed as well, like, the shelves for all the buttons were so quite, like, it was quite high up, but yeah, he was yeah. bare short. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So like, whoever made him, yeah. like, there's already an error yeah, there. Oh, you made it dramatic. Oh, you, made it dramatic. I, I just, well, you got sad, I got sad. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you remember when the film came out? Yes. Bro, yeah. I went to the cinema the and yeah. bruv, like- The from, purple goo, innit? Yeah. Bro, I swear to you, it was like, it was the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I remember I said to my mum, how sick was that film? And my yeah. mum was looking at me like, you are, you're a waste. Like that was <laughs> shit. And now when I watch it, I realise that film is dead, yeah? yeah? But, but it was still like, at the time when I watched it, I was like
having your TV series being turned into a film was like, <laughs> oh my, that's a, that was yeah. a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, like, what was your first film that you stuck into that, like, you weren't the right age for that, that film? <sighs> I don't think we snuck into many films. We used to go cinemas a lot though. Yeah, but you know like, when you lie about your age, you know when they say, oh, how old are you? And then you're like 15 and they're like, when's your date of birth? And then you stutter. Well, saying that, we, excuse me, we used to go Peckham Cinema. So okay. Peckham Cinema, yeah. it was cheap. It was only like 2 99 So what we do, like on Saturdays, my friends, we'd either go, like swimming was a big deal. Yeah. We'd go swimming. We'd go like Swimming's Peckham right. Pulse or we might go to like Dulwich. Yeah. Uh, Dulwich, Camberwell. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they got like, they, they, I don't know if it's still there now, but the Leisure Centre, okay. it's called Dulwich Baths. They used to have their own like swimming pool there. Yeah. And they had one in Camberwell. So that would be like our things, uh, swimming. And then we'd go cinema. Mm. So cinema, we'd mainly watch the PG films. They start at like 12 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And like, a few of us would kind of go down there. But yeah, we, we, we wouldn't really sneak in because... I think we were just so scared, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're just a kid of like, what, you snuck in? Yeah, yeah. No, I can't do that, bro. <laughs> you men are brave, man. Yeah, I don't think we ever snuck in once. Yeah. I think, no, saying that, we, we, no, one time we did try and sneak in, but it was like halfway through and it was like a Star Wars film. Okay, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were just sitting there like, bro, what is going on in here? <laughs> like, because we weren't really into that's, Star Wars. That's one stuff. film you can't go... Like, if you don't know nothing about it, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. come halfway through. Yeah, no, we were just like, what's that going would, on? That would hurt my head. What's, what's happening here? Yeah. Phantom Menace. No, no, I think they re-released them. Empire Strikes Back. Back then, they only showed the film twice in a day. Like, remember, like, cinema, you, there wasn't that many shows. There's only, like, two shows in a day. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, Yogi. Yogi's a Star Wars fan. You know what I mean, yeah. we, we know because yeah, he just interrupted the podcast. Like, he hasn't got a microphone. The camera's not on him, and he's like, "Yeah, guys, basically, let me start. This, let me let me be a part of this conversation." It's mad funny because there's people listening. Like, who is this guy? There's people watching. Like, yo, who is this? Who is this person, bro? I can hear this person yeah. laughing, but I can't see them. Yeah, yeah. I think with primary school, primary school was like was so cool because primary school you could like. Like, cause you went from being like in the infants, yeah, and then you go from being in the juniors, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that for me was like, that's like the first time where I felt like I felt like an adult. Yeah, going from year two to year three. Yeah, I was like, what? Comp- well, madness. Wait, my my madness. class is upstairs. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. That was a huge deal. Didn't even know there was upstairs. Yeah, you like I mean? because we never got three, to yeah. go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, bro, we're going upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, bro, we're in year three now, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So like that's the beginning. The stage windows of... actually have views because like on the ground floor, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Bush, you just see bushes, <laughs> bare bushes. I'm like, no one cuts these bushes. Like, don't they? Don't they think that we want to see? Like, what's that? <laughs> we in this classroom. Like, you can look over head, head boy. Rah, these kids look small, boy. <laughs> yeah, juniors was like a big deal, did, man. Did you? Uh, how were you in sports day in primary school? Sports day. Um, I was okay at sports day. I wasn't like it was only like secondary school. I, I got better at sports day, but yeah, yeah. primary school. Sports day, it wasn't really like, I remember just like, cause you know, like the thing as a kid was like, you know, like that's the thing, like kids now is like, ah, I want to be a footballer. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, I just wanted to be fast. Okay. It's about being the fastest kid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to, what, do you want to race? Yeah, yeah. What, do you want to race me, yeah? <laughs> be like, what? Trust this guy, me. This guy wants to race me. Yeah, yeah. I used to say that to like, you know, friends are friends. <laughs> like, we, yeah. I, I don't even know him for that long. And I'll like, straight away, I'll be like, hey man, let's, let's, you think you're fast. Let's, <laughs> yeah. you know, let's have a race. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a race and see who's the fastest, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it is so funny because there used to be one kid who was like, he was so quick. Yeah. Like, and his whole family were quick. Uh, like no one that's could beat. Cheating, like, man. like that's I'm talking cheating. like, he was in year yeah. three and he was beating kids in like year six at racing. No way. That was like a big Still, deal in it in the yeah. playground. But they was always fast. So like, Everyone like we had our own kind of thing underneath him. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but yeah. racing was like, like a big deal, man. Because what we do, we'd race from like, like one bit yeah. to to the other bit and back again, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. And it'd be so funny because you'd be racing, and like you know, like the excuses of like, it's like no, but you only beat me yeah because you're wearing plimsolls, isn't it? When I get my, I got my <laughs> fast shoes yeah. When I when I wear my fast shoes yeah, 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 it's like okay, well they beat me today. Yeah, 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 I remember once I think it was actually in Sports Day. And it was like it was quite funny as well because I was always always a little bit chubby, but um, I was actually because I'm quite tall, yeah. so I always had like long legs. So I was actually mm. really fast. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I remember once uh, we we had a big race. It was a big school race in sports day, and um, 
they were just asking everyone, oh, do you want to be a part of it? Do you want to be a part of it? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to win this. I'm going to beat the whole school and make a name for myself. Mm. And I remember, like, as soon as, like, they, they had, like, some, I was at Bell or something, and, you know, they were like, go. And I swear to you, bruv, I was, I was packing out everyone, mm. white boys, black boys even mm, yeah? yeah i was winning yeah i just remember i'm just there i'm going fast like proper fast and i'm thinking like i am the shit mm. but then i realized it was like 800 meters oh you mate. know like where you have to go around like the school twice <laughs> with the field twice so afterwards i was like raw i can't see the finishing lines <laughs> And I'm starting to lose energy. And I just remember, you know, it remembers, you know, Jurassic Park. Yeah. You know, when they're running and the dinosaurs are running from the T-Rex and they're passing all the humans. You know yeah. what I mean? And then in the yeah. hide behind the tree. Well, like the velociraptors. <laughs> yeah. Well, just blowing past. No, like, you mean you, that one? You know, the, what, the vegetarian ones that are like running like stampede. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that was yeah. me. I was, I, was, I was getting slower and slower. <laughs> and I just see everyone just breezing me out. And I realised, and then I remember like, within like a minute, I started walking. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, nah, man, I, that that damaged my confidence, still, man. Yeah, nah, we didn't really do like, like, you know, like well, for first fifteen seconds, I, I I was winning. Yeah, but it was obviously like a twenty minute thing. <laughs> I can see the way you're reminiscing, like, yeah, that is that is lost, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But so, I was winning though. That's but like, I was winning, yeah, but I, was winning. I remember in primary school they used to have like the whole like egg and spoon type of thing. We I didn't used really to be, have that in our. I, I used to be good that. at that, man. That was probably the only thing I was I was I was good at at school. Yeah, I was like I clocked it, but I couldn't brag about it. Yeah, because it's not like you're gonna be like, yeah, man, yeah. It's just... not really. It wasn't really the one yeah, like the kid <laughs> like, raw like, hey, your Hamza, yeah, yeah? the egg and spoon champion, yeah. champion, yeah, yeah. from 1997. <laughs> okay, I see, I see, I see, to... I see you on the field, man. <laughs> I remember, I remember the, the egg and spoon race had like no cred whatsoever. I remember yeah. I'd win. <laughs> yeah. And I would ne- I would not get uh, like nothing. Yeah. No certificate. Yeah. No, but for for the races, for the football <laughs> matches, hockey, everyone was winning medals. Yeah, yeah. But that was the only one where the teachers were like, we don't. Are oh, you won? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. won, but they didn't hand me no medal, no anything. And then I was like, you know what? This is not even a profession. Yeah. Like, I don't see this on TV. <laughs> it's, not, it's, like, not the, it's not the Olympics. You like. know what I mean? Like I never saw the Olympics. What's the egg and spoon thing coming up? Yeah. Do you remember when you was in primary school? How excited you used to be when you got um, certificates. That was a big deal. The swimming one. The swimming oh, one. Oh, yeah, swimming. Yeah, 25 yeah, yeah, meters yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of that stuff, yeah. man. With the penguin and the rainbow. What now? Oh, that's what I don't know. That's what I remember. The, what remember? was that like the level of it kind of thing? I don't. I just remember on the side, there was a little penguin and a little rainbow. Yeah. On my one. Yeah, my yeah, one is, yeah. I don't know. Because certificates were like, yeah, I remember we used to get them for swimming. Because when we used to go swimming as a primary school, we used to go to a secondary school. Yeah. Use a swimming pool. Oh. But there was a lot of like older, like, you know, all yeah, the older yeah. kids are in the playground. So yeah, we used yeah. to walk through them. Yeah, yeah. And bruv, it was literally like, we we, we thought we were the big kids, yeah, innit? Because yeah, we were in yeah, year yeah. three. And I remember what school, I think it was St. Thomas the Apostle. Yeah. Okay. Um, which is like, it's like, it's like none, like between like none heads, like, and it was Peckham basically. Okay, yeah. And um, I remember just walking through there and just like, we was with our teacher. And one of the kids was like rude to our teacher. Yeah, yeah. And was like, was like hey, can I, I don't know what he said. I don't think he said dickhead teacher. Yeah. Like, but he said something yeah, to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we couldn't believe we had seen our teacher being disrespected. Because yeah, in yeah. primary school, yeah. no one ever disrespected yeah, yeah, the teacher. Yeah, yeah. You was yeah. just a naughty kid, innit? 100%, yeah, yeah. So we was like, what? Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Can you believe what just happened? So yeah, that was like a big deal. Did you yeah. do you remember getting the whole like star thing? Like you get a star. I if remember you're good. the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah, I remember the you stars. Get a gold man. star if you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, man. Oh my god! Yeah, I've never yeah. thought about it. I hated that system. I think it's so unfair because when you look back at it now, like. We used to have that in retail, basically. Mm, mm, mm. Who's the best seller? Yeah. Oh, it's John. Uh, he's got. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so yeah. as a kid, like if you ain't got no stars, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's, you as feel a kid, smelly. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I remember like there was a time where, like, I think we had it in our. I swear on my life, like we had it on this kind of card thing, and then yeah. they give you the stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like. I was so demoralized that I wasn't getting the stars Bro, that I, I wanted. Didn't get a star in I remember start, I started coloring it in. Yeah. Like just to, you know, like just to think, oh, no, nah, but. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, but. Start, that was like the currency, was, though, as in primary yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, man. The, the currency in primary school was getting a star. Yeah. 
No, Stars were no, I didn't like I didn't I didn't like that one as well, man, to be fair. Did That's you ever sad. Did, you, did you ever have um what's it called? Uh I'd say, I don't know, I think we I don't know if you said it before, but but uh, about assemblies. Did you have assemblies in your school? Yeah, yeah, well, um I did and and it was really weird because I remember in primary school, like they used to like bang out hymns and, and bang out the bang hymns. Bang out bro. hymns like I was do you know what I mean? Like yeah. oh man and and I used to sing them after school, like <laughs> I didn't understand. I remember like, like my mum was a bit confused because like, my mum was a hijabi Muslim lady and then I'm just like singing Kumbaya, my lord <laughs> And then my mum's like like my mum was trying to pray like namaz to Allah and then all you hear me in the background is Kumbaya, my lord <laughs> I think I even sang it at the mosque, like, because I didn't even know. I didn't even know. So I'm at the mosque and I'm just like, I'm just waiting there. I'm just like sitting next to the bench and all of my Muslim, like we all had the topis and there's yeah. like the imam right at the end. Where yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'd just be like, come on, yo. <laughs> so I was probably like a, a, I was very confused, bro. Only like bit, years later, I found out, all right, that's a religious thing still. That, you know what, it's mad because I didn't know that was like a religious song until yeah, yeah. I was like, a little bit, maybe like 15, 14, 15. Yeah. I didn't know. I well, was just seeing it in school. Like, Did you, what about the black white, black and white one? The ink it? is black. The page is white. Do you, <laughs> no, we didn't have that. We can learn to read and, and write. write to I've, I've, read and write. I, I've Such heard that song. song. <laughs> but it's very catchy. <laughs> but it's mad catchy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we what had does some, it even mean, we had some bro? Mad, we had one song yeah. and it was like... um. Like some some of the lyrics were quite dark. Yeah, yeah. Because there was this one song. Because we had this woman. Yeah, one of the teachers was would go on the piano. Yeah, and she'd like bang out the songs. Yeah, yeah. We that all, was her only job. Yeah, yeah. We it, it yeah. was a little vibe though. As yeah, a kid, you like yeah. we said, bro, turn up. Yeah. Man's gonna see you assembly. Everyone sat there did with their to, legs folded. But did you used to stand up uh, singing. Or no, we used to sat, sit down. Yeah, okay, we sit down. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we'd all go assembly, yeah, yeah. and then like you'd have your book. Okay, kids, if we can go to page seven, yeah. because there was like there was these two songs they had, which were like the bangers. They, what, what were the, what I can't were remember bangers? what they were called, but what's what? that? The rhythm of life. That sounds mad familiar. Rhythm of life. That sounds like a, you, the rhythm a of life. That sounds mad familiar still. Yeah, but it was like a, it was a vibe basically, yeah, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah. And we, and so like, you can never pick that song. Yeah. So you'd be like, so would you like to pick a song? Yeah. Everyone would be like, yeah, can I pick number 50? <laughs> no, we can't pick that one. And you'd be like, oh, oh gosh, man. And so we have to hard. do this song, yeah? And yeah. it was so dark because one of the lyrics was like, when I was cold, I was naked. Were you there? Were you there? Oh, I was cold, oh I was God. naked. Were you yes. there? For the creed and the na 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 Were you there? I was sad. But when I'm, now I'm like, bro, this is some dark yeah. shit, bro. Oh, bro. And then in the end, it's like really sad. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Were you there? Or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and then you go to class and like, that's the last tone that you experience. Bro, the dogs like, were yeah. dark, bro. We had this other song because uh, there's other song it wasn't dark but yeah. it's like my hair's black and yours is yellow my eyes are brown and yours are blue there's no one on earth that quite like me there's no one that's quite like you then break then it yeah. goes but if you want to paint a picture of everyone and the yeah. thing is all the kids will go everyone <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know kids <laughs> they exaggerate it and kids will say everyone <laughs> You need every color under the sun. <laughs> yeah. Then the woman on the keyboard on the on the bit, dun, 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 dun. If you wanna paint a picture of everyone, <laughs> <laughs> Beck is getting buzzed out. But yeah, the, the songs were deep, boy. Yeah. Like we had this other song, like oh, bro, we had this real church song, which was like, morning has broken. Blackbird is singing. Bro, that was the first, that was the deadest song. Yeah, yeah, And I remember, yeah. I remember being a kid mad. like, oh. I remember being a kid being like, I never want to fucking sing this song again. <laughs> and i never forget, I went to a friend's <laughs> a wedding, yeah? Yeah, yeah? And that was like, okay, we're going to sing a song. Um, If everyone's going to go to page two. Yeah. Morning. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? No. I'm singing this again at a wedding. So it had so, legs. It was uh, yeah. not just school thing. But I didn't know it was like, when you're, when we was a kid, we didn't know these were like religious songs. Yeah, we were just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we just, we just bangers. Go. It was just bangers back in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do like, you know wheeled it up, bro. Wheeled it up. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I, like, it was mad. <laughs> like, it was mad because like, but I didn't get it because some of them, you were right. Some of them were really dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I just left the assembly like, 
like, like, like, it's like they deliberately fucked us up. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? They're like, yeah. go home, work. <laughs> yeah. That like, didn't even make sense. Did you have performance assembly? So uh, like assembly, but we used to have this assembly on a Friday. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like other classes would perform like from yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. So it's like I never forget once we had this like um this this is what music teacher was like. <laughs> Go. It was like it was like oh, okay, so um <laughs> so, so this girl she there's like this Chinese instrument and like you got these sticks and you hit it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's proper like traditional instrument. Oh. Is it the? It's like a keyboard, but it's wooden. But it's yeah, kind of. But it's got like strings, and you hit it. Like okay, it's basically yeah, like yeah. the when when you, whenever you watch like anything like like Chinese, like it's it's that like iconic sound basically yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah. So this really smart kid, like she had performed it and stuff, yeah. yeah, yeah. And like everyone was captivated. It was like, wow. It's yeah. amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like yeah. you know all the middle class like teachers, yeah. wow, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You're fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And then like there was this one set of kids afterwards, like, you know, like this that the the kids just like from ends, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, like, yeah. okay guys, coming up next is uh class uh five R and they're gonna perform something from <laughs> <laughs> Man just got xylophones hitting it. There's no river. Ding ding. You can just see like all the kids like, raw boy. Is this? <laughs> just me. And it was the level of like this like really like affluent, well-to-do like yeah, Chinese yeah. girl. And then there's the guys from like the working class background yeah, just like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I we don't belong here like the back with the flute. This teacher's lying. That was amazing, wasn't it, kids? Yeah. yeah well done, good. guys. <laughs> well done, honestly. You're improving. Because obviously, last week we were super shit and now we're super shit, but it's becoming cute. Oh, so man. it's not as bad. What about your school uh, dinners, though? Like, I mean, uh, for school prim- dinners. Uh, yeah, I I got school dinners. I didn't. Yeah. Did you do the packed lunch for school dinners? No, I did. I did school dinners for a while, but yeah. I remember I was so stupid. Yeah. But before you start, do you remember how school dinners when you used to go and you used to have those little? Did you have those little boxes? We used to have these little like kind of cart like boxes. Yeah, yeah. Where if your school dinners, you yeah. got to put your money in the box. Okay, I think. And if you're packed lunch, and you put like a packed lunch thing in the box I before think you so. start the day. Oh my God, bruv, this is mad. Yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah. I've never thought about this, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember like, I remember I used to like, so obviously my mum was a bit shook mm. because obviously, and I think like, you know, obviously I'm coming back home. Like I used to speak fluent Punjabi, yeah, mm. and Urdu. Now mm. I go to primary school. Now I'm mm. bussing bare English. <laughs> yeah, I'm bussing bare Kumbaya, my lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's saying a change in me. So yeah, she yeah, started yeah. saying, Oh, remember, you know, as a Muslim, we're not allowed to eat pork. Yeah. yeah? I was like, okay, yeah. She drummed it into me, yeah. Yeah. I used to think chips had pork in it. Yeah. So when I was at school <laughs> dinners, everyone was having chips and I was like, Oh, that looks so good. And I'm not no word of a lie, I didn't have chips for a year, cuz. And then afterwards someone said, Oh, you don't have chips, man. Yeah. And I was like, it's got pork in it, innit? Yeah. Like, no, it hasn't. And I remember like literally dissecting a chip. <laughs> yeah, I took one of his chips, put it on my plate, and I dissect it. And I just bare like looking, it's just fluffy potato. And I'm like, bro, there's no pork in this still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then now I love chips, man. But yeah, yeah it was, it, but it was, it was, it was mad. It's my story, guys. That's my, my that's my story, guys. <laughs> no, school. Do you know what I used to like about school dinners is that. Like the, when I was in school, the majority of like the the working class kids all yeah. mainly had like school dinners. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we would have our little batch on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you know, turkey drumsticks, chips, yeah. sweet corn. You get your little dessert, little apple crumble. Ooh. Actually, speaking of school desserts, do you yeah. remember that cake? Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but it's like a biscuit with like the caramel thing on top with the sprinkles. I think I know. What What's you're that cake about? called again? Think- it. Yogi, come on, bangs. interrupt I, now. I, I, uh, I, I only had it when I was in primary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Concrete cake. Concrete cake. Concrete cake. What kind nah. of school did you go to, man? No, no, nah, it's no, 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 no. It's like, how can I explain it? It's like, oh, bruv. It's like, it's, it's like, you know, like cheesecake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know it's, cheesecake. But then it's like, it's like caramel. Okay. It's like caramel with the sprinkles. Do you know what cake is called, cheesecake? Is that what it's Caramel called? Top. Caramel top. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. That cake. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bruv. Oh, yeah. 
when when bro, when you see that cake, yeah, 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 yeah. and then you be like, are you right? You right? Do you want custard? Yeah, yeah. Slap the custard on there, Barbara, innit? <laughs> yeah. Slap, don't, don't. You know what I'm here for, man. <laughs> You know what, yeah, uh, and then, but the custard, the, you'd yeah, have but, that, yeah. or sometimes you'd have fruit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, who gets yeah. fruit, bro? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what kid was getting get fruit back in the day. One little kid like called Billy getting fruit in it. Did <laughs> no, I mean, it'd be, but it'd be like out to be the blue power. Ranger, but you know, like back then, yeah, you know, yeah. like what that like, is beautiful that kids now are like, it, like oh, I mean, they're into eating fruit and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let but them, like let them. back then, it was like you're being extra, you're being sneaky in it. Like get dessert with the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I want to have an apple. Yeah, what, the, yeah. what are you doing, man? It, it didn't make Get sense. Get out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. But like, flute players, man. They don't, <laughs> they don't want to mess with them. But with, with, with school dinners, like I remember like school dinners with like all the working class kids would have our thing. Mm. And I wouldn't have pat lunch all the time. Mm. But I mainly had pat lunch and my mum would do a shop. Okay. So okay. my mum would say, "Yeah, I'm doing a shop. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, because my mum get a multi pack of crisps, so I can take a crisp out, yeah, make yeah. a sandwich, and all that kind of stuff. And I remember sitting on the table with all the pat lunch kids. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And just yeah. being like, "Rub, eh? Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. Looking back at the guys that didn't like." Sorry, guys, man. This is they're all sharing food. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm trying to really dunk her. I said, <laughs> "What?" Let me try this, bro. Yes, try a little Derrily Dunker. Yeah, yeah. Man's got a cheese string. Oh, what's the red one? Barbell? Is it the Barbell? Baby Bell? Baby Bell. Baby Bell. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man that said was... Barbell. Bar Bell. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come from Pakistan, guys. <laughs> Just say, try to learn yeah, to play Yeah, Baby food. Bell, yeah. They're yeah. Baby Bells. Um, cheese strings. You said cheese strings, right? Cheese strings. Cheese strings bang for a while, and then I was oh, Froobs. Do you remember Froobs? Froobs, I remember. The yes, from the, the tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's my finished. Gosh. And it's finished. But you yeah, yeah. squeezing <laughs> every ounce of it because I was like, I'm not having chips. I'm not enjoying life, so I need to make the most of this. And you know what? I remember. Yo. Oh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, bro. Do you remember? Uh, uh, but then I think it was more popular when I was in secondary. Do you remember Sunny D, my G? Oh, mate, Sunny, Sunny D, D California. Do you remember how sweet it was, bro? Bro, it had fifty thousand tons of sugar bro. in one bottle, but it banged. Sunny Delight. They're out of business now, isn't it? Because I think no, I think it's still about, but it doesn't taste nothing how it did when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's, but that's like you what know, was like, that, what was that flavor you said? What California? California that used to bang, bro. They so had a Florida one. They had a Florida one. Florida, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, like, yeah. It was like, California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big yeah, man things yeah, that yeah, was. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That was Sunny like the Sunny Delight. It was oh, bro, and we had to have the big bottles. Yeah, yeah. The big bottles. That's when big bottles became into fashion. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, like yeah. Back yeah, in the day, yeah. you would have those little cartons, the Ribena cartons. You put a little straw. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, three yeah. Three seconds later, it's finished. But Sunny Delight, Sunny you'd Delight. buy it in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it would from you buy it from the corner it shop. It would last. Yeah. Did Family you used to have? So you, you know, when you used to have like the morning break. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. did you have like drink time after morning break? No, so I what, just I just had a break and then lunch oh morning. really yeah, yeah so yeah. what we do we'd have like we'd have like lessons yeah. assembly morning break which would be like half an hour oh, sick then we'd have more lessons yeah, yeah then we'd have lunch then we'd have other lessons and then go home so yeah. morning break after you come back from morning break you can have a drink yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. everyone have that their drinks and stuff in it yeah yeah, yeah. and everyone had sunny delight sunny right? d my g oh, honestly my gosh it, oh, oh i'm so excited and you know what <laughs> i remember like uh um do you remember nerds Nerds. Nerds. So like you know like the little sweet candy, the little balls. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you yeah, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. so it will be a packet and yeah. there'll be two flavours. And yeah, you yeah, can yeah. rip one side open, yeah. pour it out, it'll be the orange ones, and then the other side you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I I swear down here. So I I remember one one time I was like in lunchtime, mm. I was like, I'm gonna make real pee. Yeah. So what I used to do was in lunchtime I used to climb over the fence, mm. go to the first I'd take orders, I'd be like, guys, I'm I'm selling the primary school. Yeah, on yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um no l- no. Was it the, what was it? Was it last year of primary school or, or, or it was a secondary school? No, secondary school. No, it was secondary school actually. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it was pointless telling the story. No, no, go for it, but, you know, but all I did was I that's how I thought I'd make money. I yeah. thought I want to be like you, you know, with the coffee machine and stuff. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I want to make it big, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like pictures of you like <laughs> hugging this, celebrities. I want I want that life. So I thought I have to start somewhere. So I used to take orders, was like, bruv, do you wanna do you wanna buy nerds? Yeah. And then they'll be like, Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, man. And they were like, um, I was like, Yeah, yeah, 40 P. They're like, Oh, it's 35 though. I'm like, yeah, but Okay, see, I've got yeah, yeah. to make that money, do you know I've got to make that money. And I remember like, I would get like three full orders. Yeah. And then when I really deeped it, I was like, raw, like man, like, sacri- like sacrifice lunch. 
yeah, to buy three nerds and I made pizza <laughs> and, I was, and I was starved, I wouldn't even eat. So I'm a bit hungry and all I made was 15p. Like I was like, no, nah, I'm never gonna get this coffee machine. Do you know what I mean? 15p is dead. And I remember like the second day I quit. I was like, that was the first time I, I had a job and I quit straight away. Cause I was like, I didn't really, fi- I didn't plan this one. Not, like, you yeah. remember those uh, frozen things, what are they called again? They're like shots, frozen. They're like the frozen balls you can get. Like Solero oh, yeah, shots yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, they but, were dead. They were dead. But it was like, as a kid, it was just a revelation. I'm like, bro, this is frozen ice. Yeah, balls, but bro. they were all like clustered, clustered together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then you know the bottom would always like get wet. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. And yeah. even the, even the whole the cardboard thing was like so, the cheapest cardboard. <laughs> ever. Like juice. Yeah, yeah. It was just like it's not even like you only got one job to contain the <laughs> the, the balls and the, the ice cream and liquid moisture, inside. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the moisture just splurted out. I'm like, <laughs> is this where is this made, bro? Like this is mad. <laughs> and and I, but you know primary school. Actually, I remember though. After, a, a, I remember, I think it was from year six on, on, we were allowed to go home to eat if you were close by to the school. Oh, yeah. And bro. Yeah, they had that for some kids. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for me, that was, that that changed my life, bro. Because, you know, imagine, like, you know, like not eating dinners, going home, yeah. having fish fingers and chips, yeah. watching TV. Yeah. 35 minute chill. Yeah. Then walk back. Because I, I was only five minute walk down. It yeah, was, yeah, bro, yeah. it changed my life. Sickest thing ever, bro. That sounds cold, though, as a kid. I used to, I walk out myself, like, I just felt like a man. Mm. I walk outside myself, I'm like, I right, let these little kids, like, carry on with their school dinners and whatever. Yeah, 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 Came yeah. home, my mum was like, what do you want? I'm like, what do you have, cuz? You know what I mean? <laughs> and, then, you know what I mean? and then, like, you know what I mean? Like, she would take my order, I'd just put my feet up on the table, sing my kumbaya as my lord, yeah? <laughs> Get my food, you know what I mean? Like, dissect the chips, make sure my mum don't, don't try to slip the poor kid. And then I would just go and go and just spend the rest of my day. And my, my boys would be like, what did you eat? What did you eat? I was like, my mom made me this, my fish fingers, rare, rare, rare. Yeah. It was above. Honestly, I felt special, man. So yeah, yeah. Big, up, big up to that rule, man. That was oh, sick. They allowed it. I think I think that's where we would take it to a close, man. Yeah, but um, man. Hamza, what you got coming up, bro? What well, projects and stuff? Um, well, um, I, I'm starting podcast soon as well. Yes. So I'm what, gonna have you on. What's your podcast called? What's it called? Um, it's called Straight to the Point. Okay. Six, um, six, six. So uh, yeah, actually, uh, Chris is helping me with this project. Mm. So yeah, would be wicked to to have you yeah, on. Yeah, that would be amazing. I um, I've got a ch- new children's book with yes. Penguin. Yeah, it's yeah. It's called Little Bad Man in the Invasion of the Killer Aunties. You can get that in any bookstore, or you can uh, get it on Amazon. Uh, my short film Hate. Uh, which I, I worked alongside. That's with. trending today, isn't it? It's trending, bro. Yeah, I see it's that It's trending. Still. Just I came out that. last night. You obviously came yeah, to the yeah, premiere. Yeah, yeah, Bit yeah, of love yeah. for that. So that's out now. And uh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't want to go too much into it, but obviously, you know, like I had a few friends that passed away from knife crime and, um, and obviously talking about other stuff, like, you know, with the New Zealand attacks last year, I just wanted mm. to talk about right-wing extremism because of the whole, you know, I think like, you know, since Brexit, everyone's getting a bit braver and being a bit racist, you know mm. what I mean? And I feel like, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. I said, it was, it's a very deep 11 minute, powerful short film, which is mm. out on YouTube now. So that's out. I just finished a tour. I've been going to, uh, uh, to schools um, all around London, schools sick, and colleges sick, sick. for the last two weeks. I've been doing that. My YouTube channel, Hamza Productions, that's my main thing subscribe if you can uh been doing that yeah brother i'm just i'm just doing i'm just working man i'm like mm. i'm i'm non-stop like my life is crazy but you know um like today is actually my i was telling you like in three weeks every day including weekends i have not had a day off yeah, but yeah i was yeah. like but you told me like oh like you know no um, no thanks yeah, for coming no, down bro, and doing it, bro. Uh, bro, you know yeah, like, yeah, yeah, i need just sitting bro. down chatting about primary school too would be such no so bro much like, joke, honestly so. like yeah. I've been cracking up, man. Yeah. Just like the amount of reminiscing and just stories yeah. is just like the first first time we worked together was um, Sky when yeah. we did Christmas Jumpers. Jumpers. That came yeah, out yeah. back again, like last yeah, Christmas. The, the, you know they, that? they release it every Christmas now. Yeah, because that was two years ago. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because yeah. every... people were tweeting that they was like, "Oh, bro, I just see you on Sky." And yeah, I was yeah, like, they oh, were shit. advertising it like it's brand new. Sky's bear trying to save that money. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, they yeah. don't want to invest in another. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I remember yeah. when I worked in you on that day, and bro, like that's when I was just like, you know, like. On the level, man, you are nah, thank you, don done, bro, my G. No, nah, so likewise, man. Because we, to, like, yeah. I remember that. I'll never forget that shoot. We, like, we filmed all of that in one day. One day. It was the whole mad. day, yeah, like, yeah. banging out the, because we banged out the script, but then we started kind of improv in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we added new bits and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. that was, like, hectic, man. But yeah. when it came out, I remember we, there was, they had a screening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I remember everyone else's shorts. And I remember sitting there just like, 
No, jumpers is the best one. <laughs> 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 I remember you like you were next to me. Yeah, she yeah, said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all right. We're all right. Like, yeah, yeah, I remember watching yeah. the others. I was like, mm, we're definitely gonna get another one. Next one <laughs> but this jumpers thing is slick, though. <laughs> But yeah, man. Yeah. But I am, uh, Hamza, it's been wicked to, to get you on. Yeah, man. And um, yeah, man, honestly, bruv, just keep like smashing it. Like your proper inspiration for like what you do and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just, like, I think that's what's really sick about what you do. You've kind of done it your way. Like you've always been the same. You've never changed. And like, yeah, like you are like one of those, I say you are, but you are one of those pioneers, like in terms of like doing it themselves, getting mm. the camera getting their own audience, going on YouTube, creating their own kind of, you know, you create, you create like a format in the world. So, yeah, yeah. bruv, salute, man. Thank Honestly, you, man. bruv. Guys, um, if you enjoyed, don't forget to obviously use the hashtag, hashtag no money, mo problems, yeah? No money. Because a lot of you hashtag or not, some of you, I see it, and they hashtag mo money, but it's no money. Or if you don't want to do that, it's hashtag NMMP, yeah? N. MMP. Take care. Love. Uh, obviously, like, subscribe. And yeah, respect your mum. Yeah. Peace. Come by out, guys. Peace, peace.